How's it going, guys? We're going to go ahead and review Wondershare DVD Slideshow Builder Deluxe. Now, you could try it for free the way I'm doing it right now. If you go to Wondershare.net and then click here on the orange button that says Try It Free. Once you install it, this is what it looks like here. It will prompt you if you want to do Standard or uh, Advanced. You can switch back and forth between Standard and... See, right now we're in Standard, but you can also click here to switch to Advanced mode which adds a lot more features to it. So we'll keep it at advanced mode just to uh, so we can look at all the features on here. But anyway, I love how Wondershare makes everything so easy to use. That's why I'm making a bunch of videos for Wondershare. I'm going to review, we're reviewing all of their videos, so check those out. All right, I mean all of their products, so check those out. Okay, so this is what it looks like here. And to start the slideshow, you just click on Add Files down here, right here in the middle and look for your files wherever they might be i put mine's here in their slideshow now these are just stock photos guys just just to um to test this out now you can switch back and forth which so right here it says one two and three that's the order it's going to play i'm going to put number three first so you just click and drag where you want it so now this one's first because it's the best quality one all right now one you can actually click on these and you can rotate them if you want because sometimes the pictures are not uh, facing the right way so you can click on these to rotate you can also click on the edit button here and to, when you edit it you can change the hue the saturation the brightness and the contrast now check this out guys when you slide this it doesn't really change does it not until you let go that right there guys i don't like the programs that I like are the ones where you're sliding and you could see where you're at as you're sliding it. You know what I mean? But you don't see it till you let go. Boom. See that? You change the contrast. I don't see nothing until you let go. Then you see it. And then you're probably going to have to do it little by little like this. But I like programs where you slide it and it gives you a preview as you're sliding it. This one doesn't do it. But, you know, it still works. You can zoom in here. It's not doing it though. Oh, well, there it goes. My laptop's a little slow. Depending on how fast your computer is, it's going to... Yeah. Yeah, that takes too long, man. What the heck? I mean, my computer's slow, but not that slow. So the zoom is a little weird on here. Oh, it's the same thing. You just got to click on it. All right. So it's got a lot of different things. You could do um, left to right. Oh, yeah, you could switch it back and forth like that. There's also an auto repair thing here. I don't know. I think that just puts it back to normal. You could crop it. For you could use, use these. There it is. Makes it that big. Or you could do manual crop, and you just grab these little guys here and you crop it that way. All right. You can also put a caption on here. For example, I'm just going to type in there test, and there it is test. So you can edit it and make it look however you want to right there but usually you don't really need to mess with that stuff it's just only if you really have to all right let's go ahead and click on the personalize up here button and this is where it gets a little interesting so now here's the timeline down here here's your pictures and here in the middle is the uh different uh, things you could put on there right now it, it's preset so i'm going to click on these right click and delete transition right click delete transition we just want to delete everything that's on there and here in the middle is where you put the transitions, whatever you want to do. So it, it starts off here with all transitions where they have 3D rotate. They have so many of them, guys. So I recommend you guys look through all of them and see which one you like best. But they have so many of them. We'll start off with a 3D melt right here. So we'll click and drag it to the middle here. And that's how you see how I just did that. That Oh, cool. You know, so so it will sample it for you, which is pretty cool. I like that. Let's, uh, let's do cross in right here for the next one. So that's how it's going to look. So you're just creating a slideshow here. That's what this program is for. And so far it's been doing pretty good. All right. There's also other things here. There's motion. Let's delete one of these and try the motion. I'm going to try from left to right. And there it goes. So with, with this one, you click and drag and you put it on the actual video itself. I mean the actual picture itself. All right. There's so many of them, guys. I recommend you guys try them out. There's also pre-audios. For example, like a dog barking, you can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I, I think you should be able to, but there's a dog barking there. There's a bird. 
and then it adds it down here. You see the audio section down here? It's going to add it there. And you can click play on here to test it out. You can click audio. And uh, I think you can download more by clicking on here if you want to download more of them. Intro and credit. There's also that. So, for example, we could put an intro way at the beginning over here. So, there it is. Let's go ahead and play from the beginning see where that. So where the heck is it? You should be able to click and drag it and put it on the actual video itself. Let's click and drag it and put it right there. And you can go ahead and um, edit it by here on the intro text box here. You can type in whatever you want and edit it. And there's different ones, but we'll go with that one right there. Boom. Now we put it at the beginning of the video. Now if we play the beginning, there should be an intro there. So there it is, my photo story directed by Wondershare team. And boom, it starts to do your slideshow there. So now you can see what we made there. There's a little bird there. But we didn't really put a transition there, did we? So there goes the transition. And there it is. Cool. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, it's called... I don't know what the difference is. Let's go to standard mode. I, I don't know if... Save changes? No. I'm just going to switch back to standard mode so you guys could see how... Uh, 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 it still has all that stuff in it. It just looks different. Hmm. Oh, there's also effects on here. I forgot to show them to you guys. So you click and drag them in here. And the effect will be added to the bottom here. If you notice on the timeline. And if, when you play it, once we get there. Right there's the effect. There's a little angel there. <laughs> I did a little bird sound when it came up. Cool. So there's so much stuff you could do here, guys. You guys can spend hours on here just making some creative stuff. There's also subtitles. If you click down here on subtitles, and you can go ahead and make your own subtitles. I'm going to put test. And it added it right there. As you can notice, and it'll come up. See that? Text. You can also do voiceovers. So if you're creating a slideshow in a way, a slideshow with um, your voice on it, you could do that as well by clicking here on the voiceover. You select where you want it, and then you click record. Test, test, one, two, one, two, test, test. Uh, hit the pause button. Yeah, hit the stop button, and then click OK. And it should add it right here. You see it down here? You can move it to wherever you want in the video. Let's go ahead and test it out, see how it sounds. Test, test. Yeah, you can hear me there. Pretty cool. And uh, there's also an edit button here, but I don't know what that does. Let me see, because you're already editing a button. Oh, it just goes back to that edit function that we saw earlier. All right. And whenever you're done, you click on create up here. And it's going to pop up a window. So here it is. So now you can actually create a DVD. You can burn to DVD, uh, save to computer, and you can select different formats on here. You can select MP4, AVI, WMV, 3GP, MPEG, a bunch of them. Save as HD video MPEG 2, which doesn't play that good, actually. To tell you the truth, I recommend you save it as an MP4. That's the best uh, format right there. Save to Apple device, save to mobile. You can select what type of mobile phone you have, but uh, that's, that's too much steps. I recommend just go MP4. Everything plays MP4. AVI, WMV, or MPEG. Those are the ones I recommend, guys. And here's the different, um, the different uh, things you can use. You gotta double click it. Yeah, double click it and it should uh and it should put it on there. So yeah, you can create a DVD or save to computer. So that's it, guys. Uh one last thing. Let's take a look how much it costs. So with the free trial, it's probably not gonna let you uh save that good. First, let's let's test it out. Let's see. With the free trial, let's see what you get. All right, here we go. We're going to click on save and see. So check this out. It's not registered. So what that means is there's going to be a watermark on it. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a watermark. So we're going to hit continue. And OK. Creating. Might take a while. If you click on the show preview, it'll show you what it's creating here. That looks pretty cool. Look at that. And if it's a big, big project, if it's like an hour long, it's going to take a while, guys. So you can actually, just, if you, i got to take off somewhere. You can select this box here, shut down, 
computer when it's done. So it's almost done here. So you can do all kinds of stuff with this. You can even share to YouTube over here. See that? Bam. Share on Facebook. Share on Twitter. Man, Wondershare is doing a good job with their products. I'm very impressed. I'm actually pretty impressed. All right. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be a... Uh, yeah, see there in the middle? Wondershare video, DVD Slideshow Builder. So it stopped. It, it finished now. Let's go ahead and open this up so we can take a look at it. Oh, what the heck? I actually want to go there and take a look. Hold on. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and play it. We saved it as an MP4. Now, like I said, it's probably going to have a watermark on the middle watch. I guarantee you because they want you to buy it. And there it is. Evaluation copy. See that? Oh, man, you don't want to have that there. You ha I mean, if you really want to use this program, you're going to have to buy it because you don't want to have that in the middle of your freaking slideshow. Anyway, let's take a look how much it costs. Um, let's go ahead and click on register here and buy now. We really don't want to use Internet Explorer or Edge or whatever the heck it's called nowadays, but I guess we'll just use it. It's coming up now. And here we are. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit for you guys. All right. One year license is thirty nine ninety five. Lifetime is forty nine ninety five. And lifetime for two to five PCs ninety nine ninety five. You need a uh, Windows ten eight seven Vista. It works on all Windows. Now I don't sell Wondershare guys. I'm not getting a. Uh, I'm not selling it to you guys. I'm just showing you guys how much it costs for review purposes. So yeah. Lifetime. I don't, I don't recommend using the one year with these things. I always get the lifetime because it's for lifetime. Why the heck would you pay for one year when you can get lifetime for 10 bucks more? <laughs> All right. And apparently it costs more than that, actually, because you're getting 50% off. But there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon in my next review and tutorial video. And let me know what you guys want me to review and, tutor and do a review on on the comment section of the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.